On today's episode on Warp Drive M, I'm going to show you how to fix and remove the CCC controller yeah, or the iDrive controller in order to fix this. Um, I'm not sure if this time on camera will show what's the error. Um, every time you hit OK, sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work. Yeah, um, And it's uh, kind of annoying and sometimes uh, from itself uh, move the dial left or right or yeah it's uh, working alone even uh, if you don't press the button yeah oh see that and i didn't press it yeah it's hard to uh, see maybe if i go on the back of the car just a second oops a lot. now maybe now you can see so um, if i want to select something Oh, where is my... Now, now you can see. So, now works perfect. Yeah, of course, every time. Every time you want to see, uh, show something on camera, it's working perfect. Yeah, and this time works perfect. Okay. So, anyway, I know for a fact that this one doesn't work correctly. Now we have to remove this in order to see why it's not working. In order to remove this, we have to remove basically just this trim panel, yeah, the uh, silver one, yeah, this one, and we don't need any kind of tools. In fact, we need so something like this, but you can do this with everything, yeah, you have at home. So, let's start. Now that uh, we remove this piece from the car, yeah, we can turn this around and we have to remove this T20 screws yeah in order to remove the take the controller out let's do that now now that i've took everything apart yeah i had to use a t20 a t10 as well yeah for these small screws that holds the electronic plate yeah on the plastic cover um we can put this aside as is yeah we don't want to tear this more apart and this is the controller unit, yeah? This is the plate, yeah, the motherboard and all the parts. And we are going to look first for obvious, yeah? We have to check if uh, we can see something out of place or stuff like that, yeah? Um, and the simplest way to check that is to um, verify everything where the buttons are yeah because there is the start of the signal yeah you push you make an input yeah and the signal is going to be sent from the button to the controller yeah and it's going to select something so um we have these ones but in here everything seems to be okay because we don't have any module or and any electrical components uh, we have just circuits and everything should be okay in there we have this is the push button yeah and as you can see it has two transistors in there i hope i'm going to say the names right in english and and every time you push this you see that it's going to measure um, the signal between this one and this one yeah and it's going to know if something is pushed or not so we have to check this first um very hard to uh, in fact i'm going to put the camera Oh, check this out. I've already found our problem. Let me try to show you. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. Let's hope you can see that. See that? Haha, <laughs> it was very easy. See that? The solder from this transistor uh, is out. I think it's diode, not a transistor. It's a diode. Anyway. See that? It's simple as that. Haha. <laughs> now I'm going to resolder this and I'm going to test once again. And I think pretty much that's about it. In fact, I'm going to check everything uh, once again and uh, everywhere, yeah. And uh, after that, we are going to put everything back and test once again, like I've said. But I'm pretty sure just this is our problem because the problem was when you push okay it wa wasn't working all the time 
and the um, turning wheel is uh, of course associated with uh, this command from the controller and maybe that's why but uh, let me check everything and i'm gonna give you an update soon after inspecting a little bit more i didn't found anything yeah and uh, we are going to try to solder this cracked piece in here in order to do that we have to remove this plastic button yeah and for that you have to pry this oops focus pry this here yeah and now the button will come out but easy because there is a spring in there see that okay piece is out spring is out now we have more room in there to solder something hey focus um, I didn't found my uh, soldering iron with a smaller tip and I'm going to try to oops To use this one. I've done the see that I've done the, um, the head a little bit Small and I hope I can solder in there something like that. So let's try And I think job done yeah, it, it was a little bit challenging um, in order to solder in there. I almost destroyed this pin. See that I melted a little bit uh, because I'm too lazy to remove the whole unit. Yeah, I should have uh, removed the whole um, motherboard and after that tried to solder, but it's too late now and it's done. Yeah, I'm not sure how well you can see in here. Everything is uh, soldered together, looks okay, but like I've said, it's a little bit challenging uh, to, uh, to weld, to solder in there, yeah? It's very uh, little space. Anyway, it's done, now I'm going to put everything back together, reinstall it on the car, and let's see if we still have these problems or not. Now, we just have to test it. But I think it's going to work. Okay, let's wait till the screen will be on. Now it's on. Um, let's see. Right, back, left, back, up, back, down, back. And now... Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So everything seems to be okay. Nice. So problem solved. Job well done. And just like that, we can fix at home our problem with the CCC controller, yeah? Or mask unit, depends on the model and on the year. But as you saw in the video, it was um, easy to fix. We spot the problem and everything works just fine, yeah? So I'm going to close this video here. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, thumbs down. Until next time, see you later.